Okay guys, so we got some new information from data miners right now. Um, basically we have three names that were found in the code that probably point to DLC characters. Um, two of the names pretty much point to Piranha Plant and Joker most likely, and then one of the names is a bit of a mystery, but a lot of people are guessing at Edric from Dragon Quest due to a bunch of leaks and a lot of other things pointing towards Edric that have led up before this whole data mine thing came out. So I'm just going to read where I first saw this data mine. So over on Twitter, a uh, user by the name of Jam1Garner um, posted, Okay, so since the secret's out, here's confirmation. Params in Ultimate confirm the code names of two future characters, Jack and Brave. The labels for these characters, Fighter Kind Jack, Fighter Kind Brave, Fighter Kind Paku, Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant in Japanese is Pakun Flower, that's what they call it in the Japanese like Mario games. Um, so Paku is most likely just a short version of Pakun. We know we're getting Piranha Plant, we've known that since the November Direct, so yeah, that's probably just for that. Then we also have um, Jack in there, and most likely that's a reference to Jack Frost, who is sort of the mascot for uh, Atlas at this point. We know our first character in the fighter past is Joker, who is from Persona, so that's an Atlas game. So most likely Jack is pointing to Joker, and that's what that's pointing to. Um, but then we have one mysterious one, and that's Brave. Now most people are thinking it's Edric, and like I said before, there's a lot of leaks and stuff leading up to this that have been pointing towards Edric, and I'm going to go over all those in a little bit here once we're done talking about this new data mine stuff. But there's some other people it could be. Now it's Brave, so Bravely Default comes to mind, but these are sort of um, hidden names, like I mean they're kind of code names. We had Roy and Ryu get leaked in a data mine um, before they came out for Smash 4 as DLC, so I thought Nintendo had wised up and you know really would have hidden the names, but it's kind of strange. These are code names, however they're also you know kind of telling of who it is, especially like Paku. Everybody would know that's Paku and Flower, you know if somebody in Japan had data mined it that would have been obvious. Um, of course I guess people knew that already so maybe they didn't hide that name so much, but then Jack and Brave, it's still strange they would give names that even at all correspond to the character. Why not just name them after, like, colors or numbers or something, you know, make it totally random. But anyway, so it's possible we could get a Bravely Default character, um, but the main reason people are thinking it's probably Edric is that in the Dragon Quest games, the hero character's class is called Yusha, which basically translate in Japanese to, like, Valor or Brave, so most likely it's probably Edric, and it's probably because of that. Also found in this data mine for these mysterious characters are their stats, so like their run speed, their weight, stuff like that. Uh, surprisingly, Piranha Plant is actually a bit of a heavyweight. Uh, Joker seems to be fairly fast, kind of a middleweight, but fairly fast character. He can wall jump, Piranha Plant, and Brave cannot. Um, so I'll go over mostly just Brave stats here, and I'll leave a link in the description above if you want to look more closely at all the stats for the characters, because it's pretty interesting and can point to potentially who we're getting for Brave. Here's some interesting things about Brave stats. Uh, Brave has a run speed of 1.74, which places him right in between Young Link and Kirby. Um, his weight is 101, which places him right in between Mega Man and me, Sword Fighter. Uh, Brave, like I said, can't wall jump. Uh, also, he does not have a jab combo, which is kind of interesting. Both of those things make me think it's possible Brave could be slime. Not having a jab combo, um, not having a wall jump is not really that big. A lot of characters don't have that, but not having a jab combo is a little strange, but who knows, maybe Brave uses a bunch of different weapons, which would be awesome. That'd be a great way to represent Dragon Quest, which either a bunch of different classes or weapons or something interesting like that, rather than just another generic sword user. I know people don't really like that. A lot of people are really wary of Edric getting in because he is a anime sword fighter character. I know that's like a meme at this point for Smash, but um, yeah, he could actually have a really cool moveset if they implement a lot of cool stuff from Dragon Quest rather than just giving him a sword, but hey, we'll see what they do. Um, with all those stats in mind, uh, it's probably going to be the child, like original version of Edric if we get Edric, um, which makes sense. Sakurai tends to go for the classic look of a character, and personally I like that look better than the newer one. The newer one kind of strayed away a little bit from looking a lot like Akira Toriyama's designs. I, I mean, it's still there, but it doesn't have that like classic feel where original Edric looks almost exactly like Kid Goku, and I am a Dragon Ball Z fan. 
Now, like I said, Brave doesn't necessarily have to be Ederic, but there's a lot of stuff pointing towards that it probably is. We've known for a while now from leakers that a square rep was probably something we're going to get in this game, another square rep, and as time went on, it seemed more and more like it was going to be a DLC character. In fact, watching the Game Awards, um, I was thinking it was probably going to be Eric. That's who I was most likely thinking it was going to be. That's what I went into that thinking. Um, Leaky Pandy, way back when, um, the first leak about the Game Awards having something with Smash said it was going to be a controversial character, kind of alluded to it was going to be a Dragon Quest character. Virgin was then saying that the first character that was going to be revealed was going to be a square, the Square Rep character, um, and that that one had kind of been in the works for a long time. Seemed like that's what he was implying. On top of that, in the lead-up to the Game Awards, we had the seven names that Virgin heard as possible Square Reps leak. So Virgin had said a while back that he had heard seven different names as a possible second Square Rep, um, and that these names, he wasn't sure which one it was because they were probably some of them were leak bait, but one of them was probably the fighter we were going to get. When we had those names leaked, three of them were Dragon Quest characters. There was Slime, Luminari, and Ederic. Those were part of the seven names. So it seemed really likely that a Dragon Quest character Character was kind of the front runner because three out of the seven names were Dragon Quest, whereas the rest of them were all single characters from their own franchises. So a Dragon Quest rep, Edric specifically, has been the most likely square rep for a kind of a while now if you've been following leaks. Uh, the other thing was right after Joker's reveal, we had a leak from 5chan. 5chan is a Japanese website, and this was the leak. I talked about this in my last video. It says Joker, the stage is Mementos. Jack Frost appears on screen with a skill. Marketing of P5R Complete Version and P5U Fighting Game. P5R is 2019. P5U is delayed because ARC is busy with the development of a Grand Blue Fighting Game. So this was the first post on 5chan that supposedly was leaking something for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now we actually have some physical evidence of Jack Frost, or at least the name Jack, within Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So that gives us a little bit of credit here. It also guessed the Grand Blue fighting game. That hadn't been announced yet. However, Hitagi had actually been talking about that a little while back. So this wasn't the first post ever on the internet to guess at that. So if you were really paying attention to leaks, someone could potentially have just been piggybacking on Hitagi, but that was a bit of a little known leak that Hitagi had said that. So yeah, it's kind of suspicious that this one got that right. But pretty much all this particular post is talking about is specifics for Joker. If we end up getting more information on Joker, say we get that stage with him, Mementos, say Jack Frost does appear in the stage or something, I'm not exactly sure what appears on screen, what the skill means, or is part of Joker's moveset in some way, then yeah, obviously this leak will get even more credibility. Now in that same 5chan thread, there was another post. A lot of people were assuming it was from the same person who put that first post, but we're not entirely sure of that. I have to be clear. I wasn't positive of this before. Um, I actually thought they were definitely from the same poster, but now I'm not con completely convinced on that. So the second post says, Erdrick, stage is Elifgard, Erdrick male and Erdrick female, two colors each of Anna Lucia and the Dragon Quest XI hero. Slime appears on screen with a skill. Achieved through active collaboration on Square's side to the benefit of overseas marketing for the Dragon Quest series. Now this post does have a very similar style to the other post about Joker and his specifics, so it's likely this is the same poster, but not completely confirmed. Um, if they are the same poster, of course, then they did guess correctly at the Grand Blue Fantasy fighting game and therefore have some credibility here. Um, Persona 5R is also a thing now. Um, we're kind of waiting to see if that's coming to Switch or not, but um, yeah, so these this poster did guess at some stuff correctly, uh, and it's possible this Ederic part is attached to that first part of the leak and, act, you know, again, actually got stuff. Uh, now that we have Brave in the information, the actual data information for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, it does seem likely that this could be a real leak. Okay, so now here's where things get really interesting. There's actually another 5chan leak that predates the leak that has information, specifics on Joker and guesses at Ederic with also specifics the one I just went over. Uh, this leak, however, has all the DLC fighters. This one says it knows everybody. So here's what this leak says. One, Joker, P5R will be released in the first half of 2019. Two, Erdrick, 
Roto's name overseas. Roto or Lodo is the name of Erdrich in Japan. Um, it L's and R's in Japanese are kind of interchangeable. Anna Lucia and Eleven, not from Stranger Things, uh, Eleven is Luminari's name in Japan, as pellet swaps. Not just Dragon Quest XI-S, but past Dragon Quest series will be released in 2019. He's in to promote Dragon Quest franchise overseas. Dragon Quest XI-S will be published by Nintendo. That fits with the other leak about Erdrich, which also said that Dragon Quest was getting in as a DLC fighter to promote the series overseas. Three, Ryu Hayabusa. Uh, there is a project ongoing for Ninja Gaiden's 30th anniversary. New game comes out in 2019. Not sure it's brand new or not. So that's really interesting. Um, some people are like, could we have two Ryus? Well, we already have two Roys, so yeah, we could. Uh, and Ninja Gaiden is one of those games that is kind of like one of the last missing big NES classic games to not have a character in Smash. Like, if you went back to the 80s and asked me, you know, what characters, you know, do I think I want in, in like a big fighting game with all the Nintendo classic characters fighting each other? Um, yeah, the, you know, main character from Ninja Gaiden would have been one of them, maybe... Contra, Battletoads, and Ghosts and Goblins, Arthur might be the other ones, but there's not too many left. Ryu's pretty huge, and something to promote the 30th anniversary of Ninja Gaiden does make sense. Or is Steve, uh, we've heard this from Hatagi for a while, and Verge Venom has been saying Minecraft content for a while. He will be announced in E3 2019. Alex and Master Chief skin as palette swaps. He was supposed to be in the base roster, but sent to the DLC for Minecraft Dungeons promotion. So that's pretty interesting and does actually make sense with how early we were hearing about Minecraft content in the, you know, behind the scenes leak stuff. If Steve was supposed to be in the base game, it does make sense that Minecraft content was known about early. Uh, also, just as a note on the same sort of subject, um, Ederic being held off might have had something to do with uh, the whole rumor that Cloud got in last, and maybe uh, Square wanted Cloud to be DLC so they could make some money off of him, and Nintendo might have said, hey, give us another character, we'll put it in as you know, downloadable content. So it's possible Edric and Steve have been worked on longer than these other characters. Five, Marine from Doom. He will be announced in E3 2019. Doom 64 costume as palette swap promotion for Doom Eternal. Now, Doom is pretty much the granddaddy of first-person shooters, so that would be really awesome if Doom actually got represented in Smash in some way. I haven't seen too many people talking about this, but there was an interview a while back where someone asked uh, Bethesda what they thought about Super Smash Bros., in particular whether or not Bethesda had spoken to Nintendo at all about it, and their response was, oh yeah. Um, it was a really blanket response, very quick, uh, the kind of response if you're under like contract you would give out as, uh, you know, I can't say yes or no, but have you talked to them about Smash? Oh yeah. That's it. Not going to say any more about it, but yes, we have. Um, so people have sort of been guessing at potentially Bethesda getting a rep, and yeah, if Doom got in, that would make sense. Um, a lot of this stuff just does make sense at this point for a lot of the leaks that are leading up to it. Now, I will say this 5chan leak, the one that has all these fighters, didn't actually guess anything yet. Um, if we do get Edric, then it guessed Edric, but keep in mind, like I said, in the lead up to the Game Awards, Edric was the character I was thinking was the most likely one if we were gonna get a character announcement, that's what I thought it was gonna be. So even if Edric does come in, um, and that 5chan leak did guess him, that was kind of a character people were already guessing at at that point. So just keep that in mind. This is definitely a potential full DLC leak, but, um, you know, it actually hasn't guessed anything. Now, the leak that just had Ederic and the specifics for Joker, if that was the same poster, um, then it did guess at the Grand Blue fighting game, which, once again, Hitagi had already been talking about. So if you were really paying attention to leaks, you could fake it. I have to be really specific about all this stuff because, again, after that Grinch leak and how, you know, it was mind-bogglingly well put together, people can fake leaks very, very well. So we have to, you know, kind of put chips in the block of anything that could potentially have been faked. So shortly after that Ederic 5chan leak came out, uh, Zen Other posted this over on Game FAQs. I will say this, I talk to Zen Other sometimes, so, uh, you know, he is an online buddy of mine at this point, pretty much. Um, and he does talk to Verge Ben, so, yeah, I mean, it's, we're all just trying to figure out if any of this DLC leak stuff is real, but I'm just gonna read his post. Zen Other wrote, Ederic is the Square Enix character. I'm not sure of the order of DLC reveals, but there are rumblings that the next one is on the horizon. If Erdrich is the next reveal, there are plenty of opportunities over the next month to do so. I've heard rumors of a January Direct, although it isn't anything solid, and Dragon Quest will have a special stage at Jump Festa in Japan. 
They will be sharing info on the Switch port Dragon Quest XI. It's being advertised as having a special guest. Might be something to keep an eye on. As for the Luminari, he was often mentioned in the same breath as Ederic when I and others heard about him. I have heard that he and potentially other incarnations of the name Erdrick will be alt skins, though this doesn't come from my main source. Okay, so pretty much just backing up the 5chan leak, um, and Zenother has been pretty forward about the fact that this would have looked a lot better had he said this before the 5chan leak came out and guessed at the Grand Blue fighting game, but hey, whatever. We did know that Ederic was a character that was part of the seven names that Virgin been heard, and I had heard, kind of behind the scenes and stuff like that, that that was the name that was most likely who it was going to be, um, or at least the Dragon Quest was the most likely character. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm giving huge benefit of the doubt here that, yes, they probably were already looking at Ederic, but weren't certain of it. Now that the 5chan leak came out, they're saying, okay, let's just admit it, it's probably Ederic. So Vergebens had some stuff to say since the 5chan leak came out. I'm just going to go over that. I've already commented on Chrono sharing the Square Enix character name list led to firings. I don't need to say more than that. The messages said all that needed to be. Erdrich is still the Square Enix character I have heard about most with Luminari almost always mentioned when someone heard Erdrich's name come up. I won't say with any certainty who the Square Enix character definitely is. I will say I would not be surprised if the reason why Erdrich and Luminari has come up so much is because he is the character. So it's been said before that the Square Enix character was always kind of a touchy subject and uh, that somebody got fired when those seven names actually went public. Uh, I was told those seven names before they went public and I was told to keep them confidential, which I did because of ramifications like this that can happen. Um, so I don't know if somebody actually got fired or not. I, I really have no idea. I don't know the person where those names were actually coming from, Virgibin's source or whatever. I had heard it completely third hand from someone who had heard it from Virgibin. So, um, you know, I kept it to myself, but yeah, it's possible somebody got fired over that. I don't know, it's kind of strange. There's seven names and somebody got fired, but hey, whatever, that's what Virgibin's saying. So Virgibin also said, Nintendo chose Joker as a late decision to tie into relevancy with the Game Awards, since it has multiple nominations and won an award the year before at them. What makes more sense to do at the Game Awards, and now it's a character from something a lot of Western fans don't have a bigger connection with, from a game series that only got one nomination that it should have won but didn't, or the character from a game that got multiple nominations the year before and won one. Nintendo got Production IG to put together that anime trailer on short notice because it was something they could do that made more sense for a reveal at the Game Awards despite Joker's production status being early in. So that makes somewhat sense because we didn't actually see any gameplay of Joker. However, it's always suspicious to me when people know so much information about behind the scenes stuff like that. Um, especially this feels a little bit like watching his back because he was saying, you know, a square character was going to be first. I'm not saying Virgin's wrong here. I'm just pointing this out. I actually believe him on this, but a lot of people are sketchy about it. Sketchy about believing leakers at all after the Grinch leak and Joker coming out and nobody talking about him. So obviously, um, yeah, I understand that, but I'm sort of on board with all this stuff. So he goes on to say, It was said to me the days after Joker's reveal, and in past few days, Sakurai's interview proved there was fact behind it. I don't know when Joker was chosen for the fighter pass altogether, but the decision to reveal him was something Nintendo decided on over the original plan for the Game Awards, which was a Square Enix character being the first fighter pass character. Thanks to Chrono, my list was released and had repercussions firings happen. But Square Enix character is one that seems to be from Dragon Quest due to how much I have heard that over anything else. Those names are Erdrick, the name I heard the most, Luminari, second most, and almost always heard when Ederic is heard, and Slime, I heard about once. So yeah, pretty much just reiterating the stuff about square firings and what happened with all that, that Erdrick is probably the square rep at this point, and then, of course, the new stuff about... Um, you know, the reason the Game Awards got switched, or they, they switched uh, showing the Square Rep first, Erdrick first, if that's to be believed, um, and they showed Joker instead. Now, of course, virgin has been talking about Minecraft content for a long time. A little while back, he said uh, that his source heard it was a boss. That was, like, right when the game came out, and obviously there's no Minecraft boss in the game, so are there going to be DLC bosses? I don't know. It was all kind of confusing. Uh, Hatagi's been saying Steve's a character. Zen Other's been saying Steve's a character. They're saying, like, this is definitely happening. Um, obviously, that 5chan leak that has full DLC uh, is saying Steve. Again, someone that's been talked about, so could potentially be faked. Um, so Virgin had this to say about Steve. It's probably not people's desired answer. My stance when it comes to Steve is something I am not sure to make sure of. I will say that I heard from a tester that Steve was coming and also from someone else who has put vague or popular enough to hear some things from time to time who heard Steve was going to be playable too. 
The problem is I feel I can't take a stance on this like people want me to. This is because my main three Smash sources have not personally heard about Steve being added for certain. But Minecraft content of some kind coming down the line is known. It is a weird spot, but there must be truth in between it. So there you go, all the information kind of piling up. It does look like after Joker we'll probably get Erdurick and Steve. Um, whether or not we get Ryu and the Marine from Doom, I don't know about that, but a lot of evidence is pointing towards Erdurick and Steve. Another interesting thing going in favor of Steve from Minecraft is that Sakurai keeps retweeting things from the Japanese Minecraft Twitter. So yeah, I mean, that kind of points towards Steve right there. Okay, so now before I give my final thoughts on all this DLC stuff, the data mine, plus what the leakers are saying and stuff, I'm just going to go over a few things that happened in the last month because I basically just took a month off. Um, sorry about that, guys. I was always thinking I was going to take a break after Smash came out, and I was only going to take like a week-long break. Um to play Smash and just do stuff or whatever, but then I ended up getting sick, then it was like the holidays and visiting family and stuff, and by the time, uh, you know, a couple weeks had gone by uh, since I had posted anything, I just said, you know what, I'm just going to wait until January and start strong, I'm not going to try to, uh, you know, half-ass a couple videos here and there. So yeah, a week-long break ended up becoming a month-long break. But anyway, um, I'm just going to go over a few things that happened uh, real quick, just that are interesting. So Sakurai visited... Um, Atlas, uh, and there was this video about it that was kind of interesting. Um, nothing really new, but just interesting. Um, Mystic Distance has been talking about uh, Persona 5 coming to Switch. A lot of people are guessing at that because, you know, we're getting Joker. Maybe it'll be revealed when we get some Joker gameplay, or maybe alongside Joker uh, actually, like, getting into Smash, like when you can actually download them, maybe they'll reveal it then, um, or maybe it's not happening. I don't know for sure, but uh, yeah, Mystic Distance has been talking about this, and we're all kind of just waiting for it to happen. It seems pretty likely, though. Hideki Kamiya had a poll over on his Twitter uh, and said, which one do you want for Smash? It was Dante, Beautiful Joe, Amy, which I think was a Matarasu from Okami, um, and Wonder Red. Um, so he did this poll, who would you want for Smash? Most likely this means these characters aren't in Smash, or maybe there'll be a second fighter pass, or maybe he just did this for fun, who knows, but this happened. The winner of the poll, for those who are curious, was Dante, um, with Amaterasu coming in second. Personally, I just really like Okami, so I'd want Amaterasu, but I totally understand Dante winning this. It makes sense. And then finally, uh, Frank O'Connor, who worked on the Halo series, uh, someone asked, if Master Chief isn't Smash DLC, someone's gonna pay, and he responded with, Master Chief is not is Smash DLC, so I'm assuming he meant Master Chief is not Smash DLC. Um, so, yeah, kind of a deconfirmation for Master Chief. I never really thought Halo was very likely to get into Smash anyway. It was always, you know, for any Microsoft rep uh, between Steve and Banjo. Right now, it's looking more likely it's Steve, uh, but we do still have those rare spirits in the data, so I do have to look at that that's that's interesting um i mean the data mine here the one thing that we have now is someone called brave with some stats um and the other physical in smash thing um you know all leakers and leak stuff aside uh is that we have rare spirits in the data so yeah i don't know maybe that'll come in maybe steve will have a banjo skin it is possible so maybe that's why there's some rare spirits there who knows but yeah Okay, so my final thoughts on all this stuff here. Um, so obviously, Piranha Plant and Joker are going to be part of our DLC, and there's four more after that. Um, this data mine with Brave does seem to me that it's pointing towards Ederic. Uh, there's leaks and stuff backing that up too, so yeah, he does seem very likely. I would say he's the most likely of the unknown characters right now. Uh, the square rep is probably Ederic, and that's, that's probably who we're going to get. Um, coming in second place is Steve from Minecraft. Uh, a lot of the prominent leakers have heard about Steve. There's some good evidence uh, that Minecraft could be coming. Sakurai retweeting stuff from Minecraft Twitter and stuff like that um, does seem very likely. And then further down the line, we have um, Ryu and the Doom Marine as being only from one leak that could could potentially have just gotten lucky. It could be a leak from someone who's just very educated on what was the most likely characters. If I were to fake a leak at the time that that leak came out, I would have put Erdurick and Steve on the leak, definitely. So yeah, that said, they haven't really guessed anything more. Uh, really the big thing is just that they're coming from the same place as the um, the leak they guessed at the Grand Blue fighting game and potentially also had Erdurick involved. Again, those are two different posts. So 
also kind of up in the air right now. Um, so yeah, I'm not totally sold on Ryu and Doom Guy, though I think they're both really cool. They'd actually probably be my favorite characters on uh, the DLC. If that was our full list, they'd be my favorite ones. So I'm hopeful <laughs> that that's what we get. Um, I think the Ninja Gaiden and I think that uh, Doom are really important games, uh, games that make sense to be in Smash. Um, not that Dragon Quest doesn't or that Minecraft doesn't or Persona doesn't, um, but I think those games are just really big, really important, so those would be the characters that would get me the most excited. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? We have uh, a data mine that points to probably Erdurek, but it could be somebody else, so um, you know, if you have any other ideas who Brave might be, let me know. It's uh, you know kind of up in the air. Uh, and then what do you think about all these leaks? Did the Grinch leak just make you not trust leaks at all anymore? You're not trusting Virgin anymore after you know not guessing Joker correctly um and what do you think about this leak that has all the characters a full DLC leak do you think that one's true or not I'm leaning as it's possible but I'm not putting you know all my chips on the table over that one um I do think Edric and Steve are looking very likely though um still kind of holding out hope for Banjo but uh Edric at least I am probably going to concede is most likely our square rep at this point so yeah anyway leave your comments below um and Thanks for watching. So once again, thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.